what is up today guys so we're back here we got another one for you imagine that um pretty decent little job it's an ash tree um it's pretty big we'll put this 200 up there next to it kind of compare everything it does have some basil rot right there but that's kind of comparison to what we are currently dealing with it's pretty large ash tree not like the last ones um, we've got some other stuff that we've got to look out for as well while we're here we've got a septic something or another right here um, another septic something or another right there a bit of an old retaining wall here these trees he said we could take out if we needed to um, these cherry tree or uh, sorry not cherry uh, red bud trees here this one and this one uh, they just might end up being casualties of war um, obviously because it's really got a whole lot of basil rot in there and I really don't want to rig off of it if I don't have to you know get kind of some sticks in there pretty good ways over here it seems seems to be worse right here we got a pretty good cavity goes up in there something's home probably but uh, just kind of wanted to show you guys the extent of this. You guys, I'm sure you'll see more up there. Sound of the bark. It's already sounding like it's coming off of the tree, especially right there. We decided the bark's already peeling off. So. Culprit's ash borer, folks. Um, give it a few years, probably won't be too many ash trees. So, but here's kind of what we're looking at from a distance. I don't know if you guys can really see that. It forks off pretty heavy right in there. Goes real high this way and real high this way. You know, kind of an inch is as good as a mile there on the carport. We're just gonna bomb everything. So, should go pretty good. Um, thank you guys for watching and coming along for the ride. If you guys like the content, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, we'll see you guys at the top. Mm, boy, when you're nervous, folks, hey. When you're nervous, you're nervous. I'm nervous too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That means you're respecting it.
he couldn't go any further. It's pretty bad. <sighs> All right. Yeah, really, really rotten. You'll have to see the footage of me tearing out and dropping. I feel like I'm about to tear out now. It's kind of crackling in my spurs a little bit, like it's getting ready to move over. Well, that's all right. Yeah, uh, that's expected. Folks, for those of you that deal with us as customers, uh, no offense to this gentleman whatsoever. Uh, he's a first time client. Um, uh, customers, climbing crews. Got dead trees that's super dead like this, like that one there. You know, we need to get these down when they start dying on us, you know. Makes it a little bit easier on everybody. Our liability, your liability, things like that, okay? so. Maybe consider us calling us early. It could it could even price and or you know lower your prices because the tree is not quite as dead, so therefore there's not as much liability, folks. So this is pretty sketchy here. Really, really rotten, guys. pressure of all that weight being on it and it, holding it for over the years it's the compaction cells and all that i'm pretty sure whatever they call them there stress cells Yeah, I'm gonna explain my hands just a little bit, folks. Okay, tree was naturally kind of leaning a little bit this way. I kept this. I cut the ash hinge well off once it starts going. Reason being is I've had a lot of these ash barber chair on me, folks, where they <laughs> split and come apart. And that's not good right here in your lap. So I, I suggest, you know, cutting three quarter of the way notch, quarter way tear it there, because you know, hey, if not, couldn't be, could be fatal. So you guys want to be careful cutting these huge tops like that for sure. So, you guys have a good, safe day. We'll catch up.